It's actually today they're going to tell us how we can earn. I'm really attracted to some certain aspects like seemingly easy money that you have in mobile. That's why I think there are a lot of young people here in the hall to, that came to listen and uh, learn. But I believe it's not about age and I believe that you'll be able to receive uh, important information even though if you don't know the specific features of the mobile world. Oh, we have voice uh, behind the stage. Okay. Um, let me introduce our uh, characters of yours and I'll try it, to do it very informally uh, from my own point of view. The way I see this word, I believe a good um, narrator can create a fantastic world like George Lucas, Star Wars. There are Jedi's, uh, knights with laser swords, there is dark side. We also have some certain ecosystem and I believe in this ecosystem there are developers and we are going to talk about them because that's the core basically that creates mobile apps. Uh, there are uh, lots of other professions uh, uh, where people earn without creating mobile apps. For example, there are people who uh, uh, upload them to a store. Like in my experience of five years ago, I really wanted to become an owner of App Store. Cool, 30% of the turnover of Apple's turnover, it's you who get uh, it and you own the largest shop in this world. It's cool. And I believe that such an owner of an, such a store uh, can be presented by Ilya Laurs, can uh, tell us what it is like to own a platform. Mobile developers that believe that you shouldn't really focus on marketing. And it's a big problem because today in 2014 it's more important to invest in developing a uh, thing in the first place but secondly to market it because some people believe that you just need to develop an app but these times are long since gone and it's very important to ask questions uh, the person who is an organizer of developers community. Let us welcome Alexander Vasilov, co-founder and general director of Oxforo. The next person, Vitaly Dubinin, it's a uh, knight on a white horse, but at the same time he's trying to sit on two chairs. Let us give a round of applause for Vitaly. Why? I, uh, because he uh, 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 does cus uh, custom development, but his passion, uh, his aspirations to create a uh, ad advertising, advertising network. And there you, uh, it's about uh, those people who want to uh, distribute apps for free and it's big money, but in long term perspective. So I believe uh, questions about marketing can address to Vitaly. And I think that it's just about cheap and available, well, not cheap, available apps can be addressed to Vyacheslav Semenikin, who is uh, um, ruining the commercial market by offering uh, available uh, acceptable prices. And I realized, I entered his website and I realized that any person basically can create an application uh, from nothing. And that's an advantage. Like we were a web design studio and we were uh, earning a tailor -made, with tailor-made solution, but uh, having WordPress, we don't have this opportunity. Same in mobile development. You have uh, you, you, all you have to do is to log in, to try a test, to create your app, uh, download it, and then pay a monthly service rate. And in this uh, fairy uh, fairy tale uh, universe, we have uh, Leah or Alisa Chimachenko. That's the person who did uh, most for uh, game industry. I believe everyone saw those games that are inviting you into a new universe and you play them for hours. And it's also due to Alice. Game Insight company does not need introduction. I believe it's a flagman or starship uh, destroyer. It's a huge uh, uh, hit production plant 
who of you can talk about monetization? Who has any ideas or thoughts? I'm interested in market volume. I think we should address it to Alexander because he researches this market. He takes part in developers live. He knows the numbers. And I'm not interested in a Russian market only. Let's talk about global market. Uh, thank you, Leonid. Talking about monetization, we need to start from the very beginning. Uh, which monetization we need to talk about? Let us to understand who are mobile developers and what kinds of mobile develop developers are there uh, in the market. We specify five main types. I believe that there are five types. And those people who develop their own products, they distribute them and monetize with the help of app pur purchases and uh, and via app stores. The next type is developers of uh, game products. It's a separate type of developers because there you have to, different monetization, different market principles. And I believe Alice is going to be the best person to talk about them. Third type of developers are outsourcers. Those uh, who have monetization from the very process uh, of developing. And Vitaly Dubini is the best person there because he's probably one of the uh, first market players out east. It's an outsourcing company. The fourth type of developers uh, is pu publishers of digital content, those who monetize due to distributing books, movies, music, etc. And here we have lots of examples. We have companies. Uh, that uh, just re um, republish uh, Russian classics in app stores. And fifth type are startups. They do not monetize directly, but mobile media for them is the main communication channel for them and their customers. Here we have Avaya Sales and Get Taxi, our favorite uh, Instagram. Good. Then a question to Ilya. Uh, an app got into a store and everyone has certain hopes and expectations. I'll become uh, rich, uh, uh, rich, I'll become popular and become top. Uh, how grounded it is. And average person who is in this business, what he or she should think about in advance to earn money. Thank you for the question. but. I'll also add uh, about this volume of a market. 50 billion USD uh, annually, that's the market by 2015. And all music industry, um, Madonna, Michael Jackson all together, they constitute about 25 billion per year. And mobile apps created uh, within five years uh, market uh, that exceeds uh, this figure to fold, and it continues uh, expanding. It's Rockstar. It's a developer who tries to upload its application and becomes one of the top ten. Uh, it's a very rare case. Uh, your chance is one out of ten thousand to succeed, but the more, more reliable ways to focus. Uh, to focus uh, on monetization within the game and then having managed to earn more money from the user than your competitors, uh, you can um, invest it into uh, marketing. The success stories uh, manage to get a lot of money from one single user. You have a lot of customization and um, uh, analytics where to locate this button, what to do. So my advice is not to invest into uh, outside marketing until you do this. And to give you real figures, the average games, um, I'm talking about games because they earn a lot, average games uh, can manage to get two or three dollars from a user. Good projects uh, manage to get one hundred dollars. It's per, per per thousand, it's our, our RPM revenue per thousand users from two three dollars to one hundred dollars, and up to thousand like Candy Crush Saga and the 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 tops. 
you can see from three to thousand dollar just due to proper engine configuration so the developer who can uh, get f uh, money from a customer properly can expand uh, externally forever so the f the trick is to focus on one single uh, customer uh, ca uh, can you somehow define the, the good shot? Are there some uh, true indicators of success? Uh, we're talking about revenue uh, per thousand users and I, I was surprised by jumping to a game world straight away because we have a world of apps that are needed for everyday use management like taxi service, pizza service, and they uh, monetize not from selling apps, but from selling some certain service. Well, the main parameter here is the ability of application to get maximum uh, money from a single user on average. You can do it uh, with the help of different ways. Like Groupon, uh, taxi games, but in the end, it all comes down to the same thing. If you want to own your vertical, like ta uh, taxi or Groupon, which is the only one in this category, everything comes down to have a small number of users, several thousand US dollars, to uh, customize, uh, to, to focus on monetization within. And then you have to invest a lot into marketing and you need to hope that your reinvestment level is going to be better than that of your competitors. It's the winner it gets it all. Either you manage to push out everyone from a market or not. I think that's the model of Avia sales. That's the team who's trying to conquer uh, mobile app uh, ticket purchasing. Yeah, aviation is very interesting. Ryanair and EasyJet are just breaking down the market because Ryanair managed uh, to optimize the monetization to such a cost that it's, it's um, they, they, their saving is 30% better than EasyJet's. And you have to fight for space. Some fl flappy birds uh, earns fifty thousand uh, dollars per day. It's it's about advertising. They are separate. They are not about the main app business. I have a question to Vyacheslav. And if you have uh, questions from uh, audience, you're welcome. So average business, not about easy chat, not about big businesses. Me being a manager of a Moscow company, for example, what can I get from a mobile app without uh, RPMs, without anything, without any uh, jo uh, slang? Can you, what can I get from it? Oh, Igor is our locomotive that drives our mobile apps that proves that you can earn with this and it creates the, the audience, the audience who is able and likes to download mobile apps and today we can see uh, the apps for 1000 rubles uh, that, that, that can focus on anything like pizza service or anything. We start from a person who uh, look for certain goods in uh, Google players, uh, Google Play and others. And you being a manager of a business not only in Moscow, but in uh, million population cities, uh, where they are restructuring their thinking. It's something that, uh, that's, uh, that represents a new channel and people uh, start uh, using uh, internet uh, only from their uh, smartphones. We have a certain number of uh, good cases when good offline businesses like interior designs. And she managed, uh, there was a girl who managed 
without investing in marketing, managed uh, 40,000 installs and gets to uh, offline customers a week from that. I believe there should have been some TV channel or big uh, pay a newspaper involved. I don't know, maybe some popular products help there that are that are top. Like uh, maybe people are looking for something in those newspapers, uh, see cool pictures and uh, order from her. Well, there are interesting cases like pizzeria where business uh, starts interacting with offline audi uh, uh, audience and uses the geek audience and uh, makes them increase uh, conversion to orders uh, many folks uh, due to the uh, due to the app being installed in the phone and pe person starting uh, who's talking on traffic jam can order like y yakitori example uh, th their success stories uh, unlike uh, other competitors managing to really succeed there well business uh, SME uh, business gets a new channel communication channel with a customer it has to uh, influence their uh, customers so with the help of mobile apps make them loyal customers and you can get there without marketing investment and that that, that uh, lady ma managed uh, to really succeed with investing only 1,000 triples per week. And then you get the questions, how should I uh, become this lady who can earn without uh, doing anything? Vitaly, can you c give your comment? It's, wait, it's not, a, it's not a question about not investing. Can I hear some? More, more reasonable question. Well, in 2014, development of a mobile app doesn't automatically ensure success in terms of money. What are your recommendations? Well, let us um, let us uh, do it in order. There are milli millions of mobile apps. There are content apps who deliver news. There are entertainment apps. I'm sorry, uh, it's time killers. Sorry, Alice. And they are so beautiful that you don't want to get back into the real world. Uh, there are apps, uh, the ones that Vitaly has, that reduce uh, costs in developing apps. It's for small businesses or cost effective business. To a certain uh, extent, Vecislav's product is the only alternative in the market. After a certain limit, uh, the company has to move on investing. Mobile, talking about mobile apps is about talking uh, about ho housing. It can be a hut and it can be an apartment in somewhere in Manhattan. Let's do it as following. Let us wait. Audience, people who are here, who are the developers? Okay, very few, very few people, less than 10 people. Editors, publishers. Who, who, who is here then? Who is here then? Entrepreneurs. Uh, who is the general director, director, uh, department director? Students, wait. Okay, good solution. SME who want to get into mobile apps. Okay, we hit it. Your target audience is Alexander's resource. You are going uh, apps from. They are the main thing. They arrange main events in the market. Uh, one of the main events. Your yours are also very good. So um, read, learn, attend their events because there you get uh, you meet the developers that can create a good product for you. Then for SMEs, you need Vicheslav's product. Uh, products. Everyone knows what WordPress is. Yeah, so, so, some some people know. Okay, Google it. It's the main uh, website uh, constructor. It's, it's mainly uh, for free. 
but with the help of plugins you can uh, uh, make a grandmother out of grandfather so it's it's a constructor a simple constructor you can develop a simple product but you can establish a communication point with the audience and you can work better in a more proactive way and it's uh, intensive collaboration with your audience once your business grows and we all hope for that you need to look for servers developer like my ex company there are many uh, companies of the sort we have them in russia in ukraine in belarus belarusia it's 20 to 40 dollars per hour you can find a developer to your taste and uh, from 20 to 100 thousand dollars you can get a mobile app that is going to generate money for you if it's an application for SME it's about a service model a pitch about the monetization of uh, mobile apps is less applicable to you because my monetization I'm used to talk about it's monetizing with the help of advertising model it's interesting for publishers sometimes uh, it's interesting for you being uh, SME because you have a tracking SDK that allows tracking audience behavior uh, inst installations like you, you know your audience better you know behavioral patterns better uh, uh, behavior in regions time behavior and you can satisfy your uh, customers better the technologies uh, that we develop are interesting uh, for you as data delivery resources but main monetization channel for you is your business and mobile app is a portal to the audience and it's a good portal because uh, everyone's attention is switching to mobile devices you now I have uh, asynchronization here for example students come and they start uh, enumerating something like Krovia, TapTalab, game site I want to become uh, this big thing and uh, really cool rich person well we have uh, identified our audience is those people who uh, looking for uh, web apps development for SMEs students are a separate story I absolutely agree with uh, Vitaly and I'll say the following thing let us denounce four or five basic myths it's not easy uh, to create a mobile app uh, and there are several reasons there too first development cost something that Vitaly said calling acceptable prices 20 to 100 thousand it's more expensive than developing a business card website for your enterprise it's more expensive and it, it, it'll it'll hard it'll be hard to find something it's uh, it's uh, not easy to find something better uh, something good for less than twenty thousand dollars we're talking dollars if you want to do something cheaper you need to use Vyacheslav's templates yeah, well, we'll start from uh, Vyacheslav's thing and then we move on to cu uh, customs, uh, cu customized development if it brings in more customers. And if I have a website, I need uh, necessarily to have a mobile app. Not necessarily, maybe you don't need it at all. Maybe you need a mobile website. If you believe you need a mobile app, then you need to uh, be able to answer yourself a single question. Why? what your users can do with the help of a mobile app that they cannot do uh, in a different way if you are able to reply to that then only after that you should you'll be able to move on okay you you wanted to enumerate five myths okay fourth myth is that probably uh, users coming on their own if i create a mobile app it's not going to happen you should forget about it straight away promoting web apps uh, mobile apps uh, it's more difficult because you don't have search engines you don't have uh, l link ranging automatic search engine that will uh, find you automatically if you publish news no and fifth myth is about it uh, uh, monetization from each user has been already pre-calculated you have indicators how much it costs 
Well, again, it depends on on the app. If it's something like a uh, game from Game Inside, there you have a chance of a viral uh, promotion. I believe Alice is going to tell us in more detail. If it's some complex bank application, for example, Alpha Bank or Sberbank or any other bank, that's it. Then uh, uh, cost of uh, user uh, uh, attraction is going to be very expensive because uh, to hit a user, well, it's difficult. Alexander is absolutely right. Uh, mobile apps uh, have to be distributed by your own. That's the main thing. You have loyal audience. The main target is you. Why uh, 2 million uh, downloads uh, people from Sparbank get? Because it has 60 million users. And okay, Alice, the question is to you: How do you manage to attract uh, those people who buy their first device and they get their uh, purchase experience? We at some point face that the fact that we are offered something to be bought, and then we we download a, a game. And then uh, suddenly uh, you have to pay and wait. I am so everything's so confusing. First of all, uh, hello and thanks for finding your time to come here. And let me say a couple words about everything that I've heard here. First of all, I don't understand this this abstract uh, discussions of something abstract. Oh, applications go into something. Well, wait, wait. What's S what SMEs are we talking about? And there are so many nuances, and different businesses need different applications. Different uh, businesses have to either go to outsources or not. To everything depends on the specific features. And generalizing here uh about uh, here it's not uh, exactly right to give general advice i believe that it would be better to shift the discussion about us telling how we earn in our market and we are going to tell about our market we can give advice but without having info data i'm not i think that we won't get very relevant uh information at least I'll try to talk about my market. Of course, I'm working in a very uh, killer segment. First of all, it's entertainment. As uh, Vitaly rightly mentioned, it's time killers. I'm competing against all possible services that uh, kill users' spare time. But due to this business being very competitive, and actually you can't avoid mentioning it because it's about 70% of all the uh, mobile apps uh, money or turnover. So the competition is very high and uh, from technology point of view and psycho uh, psychology point of view, it's very tough. And we have good experience and basically it's applicable uh, to a certain extent to other services, other businesses that are built around this industry. So I have my own kind of classification. So if we take a business approach here, like in any other business, you have a good, clear split between B2B and B2C. There are clear apps that you need for something. And B2B and B2C are very different. We are in B2C. We are communicating directly with the customers and we get money from them. Next question is how to monetize the user or the customer. So uh, opportunities are limitless. And I believe that it's one of the most interesting segments, the applications that are between online and offline, between real business and mobile business. And I want to uh, argue with the previous speaker. I don't see a difference between some uh, booth saying uh, selling something offline uh, and somebody who creates something. And 
they might uh, need an app, but it depends on what you want to uh, do for your business and maybe you want to uh, change business. It's a, if it's a business card uh, website, it's one thing. If it's a full scale business that gathers together all your all of your parts of audience, give additional entertainment opportunities, give it it's a better selection scheme. There are billions of examples. There, there is a story of Planner 5D who uh, create uh, 3D reality and you can have a look at what sofa you want to get and what it's going to look like in your room. The market is big. 50 million is the total market about mobile apps. Direct monetization purchasing via Google Play is considerably less, like five times less. And if you do not uh, include Asia, yeah, but the, mar the market is uh, probably one of the biggest and uh, uh, developing the fastest. Uh, I could give only one piece of advice here. You need to clearly understand yourself why you need a mobile app. Yeah, the numerous dimen dimensions of this world are just fantastic. And developers, there are six or eight types. And let me let me add, I wanted to add something. Forgot. If the application that big or small business uh, is thinking of making is a serious service that requires daily communication with the users. Uh, then I do not recommend it to go to outsources and uh, get it from outsources. The problem is not outsources not managing it, but in a month after you uh, commission your fantastic application, if you want to change something and to add something, uh, this outsourcer may not exist any longer. Uh, it may not be available and you'll face the following. You have a different, uh, you have an unusual code there and you have to write it afresh. So if it's a big business, if you are serious about communicating uh, via it with your customer and monetize it, then you need to create an internal team and you need to do it internally. That's my recommendation. Let us try to identify those people who create the world uh, where we have s small icons that we can download and pay for them. Basically, we can hire a team of developers that uh, are going to create it uh, and to offer digital goods to the customers. So your product uh, uh, is being consumed via a mobile screen and it, it's, it's not physical, basically. But I'm really inspired something about you are talking about uh, moving to offline, like Adidas uh, commissioning watch, watch uh, which has Wi-Fi access and publishing data after jogging in, uh, in an account. So it's social part. And here you can earn not from uh, goods, not from sneakers, not from something, but uh, from membership in a club, so to say. And I see that attitude change, uh, changing. As people see success of the companies who uh, work with uh, uh, digital uh, reality or virtual reality, and there will be new opportunities for earning appearing. Who has ideas where to invest money, effort, energy? Do you have uh, advice or ideas? Yes, I want to share an interest, interesting piece of news. Exactly. Uh, about it's about a company I invested into a company that combines the reality it's called figure out that it's printing uh, 3d printing of uh, game characters so it's it's branding uh, from uh, mobile games and of course people who play they, they want to have uh, this this very character uh, with, with the same shape with sim certain clothes like I, uh, I, uh, I broke this car in a game, and I want to have this toy. And it's about 3D printing, and it's it's really it's a really progressing. I believe it's going to blow the market in the next three to five years because basically, 
you'll be able to print out half of uh, everyday things at home. And it's a very interesting symbi symbiosis. You are not monetizing a uh, game uh, any longer for two or three dollars. You're creating sentiment, you create dependency of a player from a character, from uh, environment, and you monetize it with the help of physical printing. And we can see uh, a combination of this in App Store, like some certain figures that can be printed out in the real world, and they become more and more popular. and and it makes you really surprised and we see an interesting phenomenon it's a super user phenomenon so to say super user it's a uh, it's less than one percent of uh, gamers who spend amazing uh, amounts of money there are users that spend tens of thousands of uh, dollars per year who are those people and how they earn of course, uh, I know that my uh, child of two euros can buy something by mistake, and I already switched off those apps. But when we were doing research, the typical portrait of the super user is a housewife in the US. 35 plus, that's me. She used to be attached to uh, Mexican soaps, and now TV is no longer cool, and those housewives become most hardcore uh, gamers where it used to be uh, mostly teenagers and guys so she spends lots of time at home and they can really spend this much money so it's an interesting segment and uh, as for your question yeah we see more and more the money being spent not on digital but uh, in reality a cross between offline and uh, online is our future where we are going to live and I wanted to think of this moment when two years ago in a conference uh, we were sitting in Itali with Vitaly in Ria Novosti the uh, digital model was not uh, prepared for so, uh, from some certain extent because users were n not uh, able to get the tools because uh, it, sh it should be uh, it, sh it was supposed to be uh, advertising in the middle of the game and it wasn't possible back then and you see that uh, direct uh, sales of apps uh, is no longer working and yeah, distribution is something that turned the world upside down game industry is very interesting for me because it uh, sets an example for everyone and at some point Microsoft and other big players uh, reduced the cost of their uh, software uh, basically to zero wh even though they invested uh, crazily uh, Autodesk uh, uh, are offering for five dollars something that would have cost uh, 590 dollars uh, for PC can you explain me the calculations? Well, Autodesk is not a successful uh, example, a good example. It's not the functionality that can be available on my desktop. I won't really agree, don't it, about this being the only option. Coming back to business of any size, for business it's important to get the customers and the fewer barriers uh, are for the customers to get to uh, the service, the better. And offering uh, applications not for free is absurd. And uh, if it's uh, if it's only not uh, Adobe or something like this, but they are not business applications. Is the end software product? Let us get back and let us summarize the first part of our discussion. The main thing is to clearly understand why you need a mobile app. There are uh, two extremes here. Either you know for sure that a mobile app is something like additional media where you can promote something like you manage to uh, get an Instagram account, a social networks account, website, and you can create a simple mobile app. It's one thing, it's cheap, it doesn't require a lot of effort, it can be done fast. But 
if you really want to bring uh, online experience into your offline business, it's a full-scale solution development. And I absolutely agree that you cannot outsource it because when you get first feedback and you want to introduce something, some changes, it will be more expensive than your having your own team. And there are risks mentioned by Alice. And it requires different level of investment. For example, once a month or sometimes twice a month, we get a request to develop a system, something like Get Taxi or Yandex Taxi. From Kazakhstan, from different regions, we get emails. We have a taxi company and we want to develop the following thing. And how, how much money you have? 300,000 rubles. And we are saying that no, it's not possible. We cannot get nowhere near. But some of the businesses uh, would have benefited to create a similar sol mobile solution, similar to get taxi for their region and their business. But here we also have an issue of investment. How fast can uh, you can get return? I think it would be good here to explain uh, game and, uh, difference between game and site. Like game and site, you are completely offline and you are not about ge uh, geography. It doesn't matter where your users are in uh, Mexico, in Ireland. It's a global consumer, ideal consumer anywhere uh, on Earth. And, and your customers who actually come to you physically are limited to uh, their location and to your business location. My dream in mobility is about total uh, space. I want to have my team living and working without any dependence on uh, dependency from the customer. So ideal mobility. Unfortunately, 90% uh, people are getting their money from in the mega policies and monetization is uh, something uh, local, local to where we sell, where we buy. Do you have any ideas how to uh, switch from it to uh, different offline? Fifteen years ago, when I saw internet developing, I, I told me uh, Lebedev Studio is a, a place for me to work, and I was right. And it was a turning point, and I started understanding it. Mobile is even better in this sense, schooler. And uh, selecting between real estate and skyscrapers, uh, building I choose mobile world. But it's so uh, diverse and uh, each one of you earns in a different way. Wait, we are talking about monetization and you got a good panel for monetization, but we have a small business audience and they are interested in how to earn money with the help of such a thing as mobile. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this and then we'll get back to what you're talking Maybe they want to create some new projects. Wait, uh, of course, I think they may, and but you need to get there and not as a result of this panel discussion. We can plan something that will grow. But, the, uh, but speaking about developing, Serious businesses uh, are developing things and it makes sense for them to have in-house developers, but uh, it's not always that when um, they can hire top developers. Same with legal, you can have in-house legal who does document workflow uh, and some contracts, etc. But when it's uh, M&A, you go to a company who have to where you have to pay to outsource because you it's a one-time thing for your MA. Big banks use uh, outsourcing because expertise of outsources exceeds the expertise of uh, the in-house people because uh, many, uh, very often it's limited by bureaucrat uh, bureaucracy, uh, in-house bureaucracy, etc. But uh, outsources are result-oriented. I'm sorry, I'll, Alice, I, I cannot agree with you, but Alice is totally right in saying that it's very in, it's very specific to each example. Like geo advertising. 
we have invested a lot of resources in developing this project, and we are trying to commission it, to launch it. And I want to give you a case how it can work. I'm not selling our technology by no means, because there are loads of ways how you can uh, tackle the same issues. So look. Uh, attracting customers for you is limited by a small amount of options. Uh, advertising or direct sales or partner sales. Advertising is not always efficient because the main tools you can afford here, they are not exactly efficient. Uh, context advertising is um, not, uh, is decreasing. Uh, media advertising it's very ex expensive and if if you bought uh, media advertising in the main uh, sporting magazines you paid several millions and uh, you get a very small percent uh, percentage uh, out of two per, uh, relevant percent you get 0.3 percent and small conversion it's only for big businesses which want to cover all the media channels like what Yandex managed to utilize and what we did is providing access uh, for SMEs to advertising uh, the products within the territory where it is sold for example you are a restaurant we have 26 uh, public holidays a year and apart from uh, attracting uh, people for business lunches from nearest business centers, you have to sell corporate parties at least 20, 26 days per year. Um, what do you do? With the help of this or that advertising technology, uh, same as Kiwi does, you can buy geolocational advertising in Kiwi Terminal where you are selling your own local business. And when a person uh, uh, tops uh, tops up the mobile phone, he or she sees uh, the relevant advertising. So you are sending a media message via biggest, most popular um, applications that are targeted at your geographic location, and you send a consumer to your restaurant, to your auto center. For example, it's in the so southeast and it doesn't make any sense for you to advertise in the northeast you cannot get your uh, audience it's you need to focus on your target audience so modern marketing solutions allow do this you can send an advertising message addressed to your audience and it'll be a relatively expensive uh, compared to the usual prices, but uh, efficiency will be as high. Uh, as in in the end, the um, the co uh, this cost will be considerably less than you if you cover the whole irrelevant area. Uh, if you uh, y you can see that. Uh, you pay um, uh, here you pay 10,000 rubles instead of 1,000 rubles uh, for a number of uh, ad uh, advertis advertisements but you'll cover everyone just an example uh, auto dealer asked us to do the following thing uh, geo and high targeting they are selling cars between half a million and one million uh, rubles they have competitors in their niche for example i'm talking about ford they uh, compete against kia hyundai and somebody else i'm not really good in cars okay. korean uh japanese uh, producers our producers toyota i don't know what they do what can modern technology allow us to do you can target uh, advertising and the cost and the cost will be very high 15 uh, rubles per one contact so they can target it at people who uh, 
who are located at their competitors. Like, there are 10 dealers in a region. They are one of those 10. We mark uh, these dealers, nine dealers, in uh, a map. And if somebody uh, have spent more than 15 minutes at two locations, it means that this person is looking for a car. It means that you are focusing, uh, you are targeting this very person. And if this person spent for more longer than four hours and f for more than uh, two days, it means it's a uh, employee of this company. It's sniper shooting for some small businesses it's the uh, only way to attract audience it's anti-targeting and then geo retargeting is also possible like these people asked to target their advertising at uh, prosecutor's office of this region at uh, this region administration no they 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 haven't and yacht club on the volga river where they, they know their audience very well, and for them, this, uh, this solution is optimum. They are going to uh, pay uh, nothing for this com compared uh, to what they get in return. So now for SMEs, uh, can be interested in the technologies, what uh, they might get in, be interested in what Vyacheslav do because they simplify things. Before, uh, it used to be uh, half a million rubles before Vyacheslav, but with the help of Vyacheslav, you can uh, do it for free. You can uh, see what you, ca you can do, you can analyze it better. Maybe you can outsource, maybe you can do this and that. and and you can get in the end to in-house developing uh, having in developers team I have a proposal to move on to questions and answers from the audience uh, good afternoon to continue with advertising I wanted to ask which uh, mobile app channels are most topical and how geolocation was working in your specific case and I'll ask the next question after you reply to this. If it's a question to me, I'm going to reply. Advertising is different. In Alice's products, uh, they advertise their products. For example, people play farm uh, game, and Alice is advertising uh, races there. So it's shifting audience. What I was talking about is advertising applicable to most uh, of you, aimed at target audience. It's nothing to do with uh, mobile apps uh, monetization. We are talking about something completely different. Now, it's about increasing the user base. It's about increasing profit. No, I mean business monetization, using uh, advertising in mobile apps. It's a way of attracting customers. What is the business? Uh, is it something? After, uh, nightclub okay you're offline you are not an online business you cannot deliver it via internet a person has to come to you uh, to have a drink to dance to meet somebody uh, get married and improve uh, the demography of our country you have to target your audience you know loads better your target audience you know, it's uh, men and women of certain age, uh, with certain uh, taste in music. So you need to play this music, and uh, you need you shouldn't play that music like Johnny Cash. You uh, target it in several ways. First, geo-targeting. If your club is located uh, in South east it's hardly that somebody from northwest is going to come especially in moscow with its traffic jam of course you need to focus on local audience then um sex it's not relevant for you it's about men and women both oh, maybe maybe men uh, men pay 
but they they pay uh, if uh, they meet women there uh, it depends on the club anyway men uh, come where uh, they have women available I believe then the next uh, uh, parameter is age it's hard to target for people who are older than 40 it will probably uh, between 25 and 35 years old people and third thing is uh, in income and you are addressing some advertising agency or somewhere else you don't need to focus on the mobile segment may I say ask yourself a question where is the biggest uh, number of people of this sort in Vkontakte network and you don't have to get advertisement from anywhere only in order to uh, but uh, contacty is not uh, going to give the geo factor uh, if if you want to focus on the city on the whole city is fine once again the thing is about details you cannot speak in general uh, nightclubs can be different it's about music if it's about teenagers but it's about the audience it shouldn't be about uh, geography but you need to ask yourself a question where is the biggest traffic if you are talking about mobile traffic specific then of course in this country you can get biggest mobile traffic from of contacti and odno uh, the rest are nuances yeah, we are using Vkontakte very actively, but there we have mobile apps, and there we, you can see our targeted advertising. That's why we want to use this niche, uh, use all these targeting criteria. I know everything about audience that uh, attends, but how to move on with it? Apart from Asia and Russia. Uh, the rest of the world uses Facebook which has 1 billion users they can do it and it's ideal for SMEs and advertising unfortunately we don't have Facebook we don't have big traffic uh, traffic Facebook traffic that's why we have those issues but uh, there won't be a universal solution probably most of uh, your customers are in contact if you cannot target them especially uh, since you're uh, you have a unusual business. It's a story for some sort of fans. Yeah, we are deviating from the subject. I believe all the owners of nightclubs are very uh, happy because they appreciate the uh, value of our experts in the panel. L let me just add, if you take Moscow, I am starting on Thursday, uh, I'm starting starting from Thursday till uh, Saturday. I get tons of uh, SMS messages from nightclubs, uh, so uh, SMSs are also very popular. And ten copies per SMS, and you you just get a database of your users and send SMSs there, and then uh, just add a link to your web app. I I I'm really uh, I really respect it. And I, I got an insight from SMS people and they told me that it never worked. It never worked actually. I'm not arguing with you, it's the information I got, information on efficiency. Yeah, of course SMS messages are being delivered, but the satisfaction level is not. So your uh, people do not monetize. I don't like arguing with you, you're a good expert, but I was told uh, I got this information from the people who earn money on this. Basically, this channel is uh, nothing about that. Okay, we have a question from uh, from, from the audience. Um, I'm interested in the following: online and offline uh, overlap, geolocation. I think Google recently bought some company. Yeah, I I bought some uh, Israel people. Yeah, Google also bought some Israel people. So, uh, navigator thing is very popular, and if somebody is passing by a uh, coffee shop, you get uh, advertising. Yeah, but it it didn't it didn't start. Let us remember Foursquare. Four it's uh, a, it's a total loss, and Rus Russians. 
uh, Russian uh, program of the same type uh, was not managing. Last year it was 500%, uh, uh, this year is 500%, uh, last year it was 300% for, uh, for Square. And I got push. I got pushes. Oh, who knows what's IBCon technology? Okay, let us t uh, tell you. Okay, you may, may I ask a question? It's something for you. It's kind of popular thing. Are there any other subjects that are potentially interesting? There are millions of them. I just wanted to tell you about it because I see there are a lot of offline people here. The research technology that's called iBeacon Apple and they announced recently that they're installing all the Apple stores and you can measure by geolocation in geolocation you can measure only space and you cannot identify where I am located which floor which room and with the help of Bluetooth this technology allows to uh, mark specific rooms and you can people can understand where I am located. I'm speaking about pushes, about uh, offering the goods, about offering, uh, about optim optimizing, well, this kind of advertising is much better. So uh, those people who have uh, P physical POCs, it's very efficient. And then with the help of your mobile app, if you have iBeacon there, you can offer anything, not only discounts, but just anything and so on and so forth. There are billions of ideas and recently there was a very interesting startup. My friends in Silicon Valley are working on an interesting startup. It's targeted at VIP customers who like uh, different expensive brands. I'm a customer, I know I can spend a lot of money, I come to some certain store and people know me. They don't know my data because it's prohibited in the US, but they know that I'm but I can potentially afford to buy some expensive bag. They know my size, they know everything. And such stories uh, about technologies they use, uh, not only about application, it's not only about application, it's the cutting edge. What else? But we can talk for eight hours about this. Hi, everyone. My name is Get. I'm working in um, as, as in medium enterprise and together with management we decided to create a project to create projects connected with kind of a calendar specifically targeted at Russia uh, it's typical for everyone to be late for business meetings etc and all the solutions are not uh, oriented uh, targeted at uh, Russia there is no integration with Yandex Propki application for traffic jams so the problem is the following I'm responsible for development and I have uh, already heard several uh, about several tricks how to get customers the question is simple where to look for uh, marketing people we can address uh, uh, market people also uh, outsourcing companies or hire project managers wait wait product manager is somebody who does project marketing is somebody who markets who promotes who communicates and uh, they hardly they can you can find hardly any marketologist uh, in digital world you, uh, you, you can do uh, something simple uh, simple you ask somebody for the develop somebody to develop a marketing strategy for three five thousand uh, rubles. You get several uh, uh, attempts, and you s choose uh, the best marketers, and then you uh, keep uh, keep ordering from them, and you may outsource everything: social media distribution, mobile. You can get it from the best one. It's a very difficult task for me. Uh, what well, I'm really interested to know why why uh, you can find good marketologists in digital area well maybe they feel themselves as top-notch people when they uh, become good enough well, our mobile market develops or uh, depends on platform um, we are 
really dependent on Google, Facebook, uh, and Amazon, and Apple. They, they change uh, SDK API and they change everything every week. And those changes also are about changes in marketing strategies, about main business. There isn't a single educational institution in the world that can uh, track the story day uh, day by day. Not in Stanford, no, not in Harvard, no one is able to uh, do somebody mobile marketing. It's not because it's something ex exceptionally complex. It's just too dynamic and it's it's hard to keep up, especially for the state institutions. That's why the best marketologist that you can find uh, if you have a budget of 3,000 rubles or dollars or 30 or 100 dollars, it's you yourself. You need to invest your money in studying. That's my sore spot, actually, because we, we we're using our friendship and I was delivering mobile marketing course. And we were trying to attract people to take part in this course. They said, no, I'm very, very busy and I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, do anything. I have to work. Uh, it's when I was trying to arrange it for my friends. And the uh, best marketologists are employed and they are in the flow and they uh, if they are out of this flow for half a year, they miss a five, a six, they miss the changes that change the system completely, which in its turn influences um, money, uh, ca cash flow distribution. Or you cannot also, f also you cannot afford those people. They are too expensive, and they don't need them. They, they, they won't uh, sell their hours for consulting. If you, uh, if you are good uh, at English, read Quora. They, they share their insights. I can argue that. But actually, you can buy one hour from them. You won't be able to get uh, to get one money uh, one hour uh, from Alice's marketologist because he's working for her 24 by 7. If not working, then sleeping. Well, networking rules really. Uh, to find the right people, it's two to three trips to conferences, swap business cards and uh, ask uh, this person to allow to sit by them and have a look at how they are doing. I guess it's a very good piece of advice. You can go to Game Inside as a, uh, as a janitor, really, and train there. It's, come on, do not uh, fr fr frighten people. It's uh, it's not that difficult Google thing. These are young people, they can do everything themselves. I'm project manager, I'm responsible for development. We have a development of $300,000. Find yourself a girlfriend who's going to be responsible for marketing. We have $150,000 uh, for whole marketing. We have a startup. Let us know, um, just uh, a uh, come over to us after the conference and we won't waste time. That's how you resolve uh, your issues, people from your own startups. You can uh, ask your topical questions, you can ask the marginal people here. My name is Evgeny, hi. Question is m maybe not strictly related to the subject, but do you have any examples of successful cases in the area of application development in, in introducing uh, uh, targeted uh, advertising in a foreign real uh, in real estate abroad? Has it been working or something? If you are addressing this to me, I'm addressing it to everyone. Uh, we hardly uh, present uh, present in a foreign market. I have no idea of the foreign market. Maybe it's not even legal, this market. I mean, uh, we are selling here in Russia a real estate abroad. Okay, you know your target audience. You try, you have to try to capture it. Mostly it's high RPU audience. Yeah. 
DME, uh, VKO, SVO, or the airport's audience. You have a very complex product. It is being sold uh, online and it's offline abroad. You won't get a best recipe. You need to uh, get to target uh, good uh, good audience uh, with uh, good money in their back bank accounts, but banks are n never going to share this information with you. Yeah, you, you're going. Banks are going to lose their audience. It means oh, I can't see an easy solution here. It'll be m more difficult to find your solution in mobile apps. You need to work uh, with big web and DMP. Track people who uh, get who visit foreign uh, real estate websites. So, it's also remarketing. I have a question to Ilya. Pure online. Pure online store that ha has no physical part of it, like DJR. What's the amount of people who do this business daily, who upload something, who do something, who, who leave it or who, who uh, keep doing this? Well, I I don't know good figures, uh, proper figures for uh, Apple or Google Play. In our store, we get uh, each day half a million unique users and they get 100 million applications per month. And many of them are those businesses that are not directly related to mobile apps, like websites that sell uh, property and just two things to connect with the previous discussion. Marketing becomes the main competitive tool. Those who understand it, who can use it, who can target properly. They get such a competitive advantage that are uh, that they can push all the businesses out, and then feedback. Gone are the times when you just advertise and get the customers to get each uh, activity of a customer. Phone call, click, visit, request. It has to be measured. And successful companies, not only gaming companies, they are good at measuring. They can say that. I have published my advertising here. Uh, 100 people return, uh, moved on to second level. Some amount of people get to the first level. And I think those. It's not quantum physics. It's quite. Uh, it's quite a standard logic. It gives a huge competitive advantage. Here you mean that you have, there are people who can make proper decisions, but I believe it's 400% of super, uh, super successful developers who earn 99% of all the market. Uh, part. Just yet another myth. Mobile apps are only about developers. No. Oh. Uh, mobile apps are marketing channel for anyone, but it's at the same time a business tool. They add such a functionality as geolocation, uh, detailed measurement. We also have uh, internal advertising engine and we were measuring many parameters trying to understand how to predict which uh, apps can be uh, downloaded and after all the tests, friends of friends, geolocation, morning and evening. We came to an interesting conclusion. Uh, the person uh, is better described at uh, the usage of the applications. Like, tell me which are your apps and I'll tell who you are. It's not about the number of apps, it's the number of apps uh, used. And if we uh, demonstrate here, as uh screen Alice's screenshot it'll be it'll be a profile of a person who uh, plays games all the time but no it's about use but if against each icon of each app you specify no 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 I'm 
I'm trying to connect it with uh, real estate abroad. It should be analysis. Send uh, three screenshots of your phone and we'll uh, define, uh, we'll identify how much you earn per month. No, I'm trying to figure some a solution for them. Vyacheslav, if, do you have success stories from those people who who just came to who just came to you and started earning money from mobile apps maybe even focusing on offline more we have only solution uh, have only solutions for offline we, we cannot uh, we have only applications that our connection to the uh, have a connection to the existing business well maybe apart from info business product people but it's also it's always about offline we have many cases starting from the designer I told you about just increasing conversion increasing number of leads and we, we had a big uh, in, uh, leasing, uh, renting big industrial machines. And we had Russian uh, real estate apartments and uh, cottages. So, uh, people who buy Komatsu uh, machines, uh, it's about a number of uh, installments. Uh, uh, very often we, we track a number of uh, requests for statistics we, we we see that people get leads and it's a good case for a fine business and it, it, it helps uh, uh, businesses to get yet another channel almost for free and I'm repeating myself a bit I wanted to oppose Alexander to an extent when you say you cannot uh, create an, uh, an application without creating traffic, you can, you can see uh, uh, the traffic uh, in the new applications that end in um, App Store and people start, do start downloading them. We are talking about natural CEO, uh, I started doing CEO for websites. Here is the same. There, were few, uh, there was a few number of competitors in um, uh, search engines. If, if you type pizza in Google and Yanis, you got billions of requests. And if we type the same thing in uh, uh, Google Play, uh, uh, it'll be uh, something. Like and you get very few results and that's why this lady managed to get 40,000 installs that's the area you can work in and it can lead to very good results we have uh, tens of uh, uh, top people here the latest statistics um, 30 applications zero traffic it got over 15,000 installs it, and it happened within half a year Alice, do you have uh, unsuccessful stories? Of course we have. We have live, uh, we have 35 plus uh, games, service. we have unique uh, games that has been launched in a million of different uh, sites. We are operating more than 200 different services. We have 35 unique games. At the same time, we have totally uh, closed because uh, they were unsuccessful. We had to close about 100 different services that we had to close because they were not uh, successful and the games that we didn't deliver to market because we didn't manage with them it was about seven out of 30 which is quite a lot and of course we have uh, other products that 
bring us little that yield, not very well, but uh, we didn't have a, a single product that uh, didn't pay uh, payback. We have covered the investment. We have within four years of uh, within four, four years, I personally closed ten developing uh, studios. Yeah, it's a lot. The death rate is big. It's true both for projects and for people. Yeah. Uh, so and you need to be prepared that. But of course, if they didn't reduce costs, uh, Alice wouldn't have been a success story. Yeah, it's it's also the ability to uh, cut cut costs down on time. I think those people who are here uh, can understand me very well. Very often it happens so that people who are not in our business come to our business and they are listening uh, to what we are saying, uh, something. Uh, uh, and if a person does not understand it, it turns into a problem. I saw, uh, I came across billion of cases when uh, programmers and uh, PMs were promising that uh, we are going to do that and we'll, we need just more money, we just we need just more time. They were giving promises and the stories were very bad. So the advice, the best advice is to uh, figure out uh, what you want and need, or, or uh, you need to get a reliable consultant. You need to understand that you're not going to be food. There are lots of uh, food customers. I took personal. Uh, I'm also uh, a customer who's been food. I have big, uh, I have big experience. And I uh, get, and I was fooled by my own studios, and I I I look at them, and I will I see that I'm being fooled. But if a flower uh, shop chain owner, uh, if uh, he comes over to us, is going to be fooled easily. The death rate of wait. Uh, my name is Hassan from Chechen Republic, Chechnya. I wanted to ask you. Following thing. How can you uh, uh, change uh, regional image with the help of a mobile app? Currently, people who come for us and see uh, the situation with their own eyes, they uh, get a very different image. But those people who haven't visited us, who just watch TV or read news on the internet, they don't know what's happening in reality. How can it be done with the help of mobile apps? Well, I don't know. I don't think whether it's question to you, but I can give you advice. You need to focus on good applications that that demonstrate the natural beauty is like a format of delivering information about location be it uh, uh, nature, people, culture, city. I was watching a great movie um, about uh, horse riding. There was a lot of information on this republic. Yeah. If you use this channel, you'll get only one-tenth of your target audience. I sometimes visit uh, Opora and Credit uh, events and they uh, they were um, uh, giving awards um, to the to the regions, the best, uh, the most successful region. I think you need to get acquainted with a foreign credit company because they uh, issue those awards uh, for for the regions to boost the image. But they are continuously promoting some certain cities and areas that. Uh, come over them. It's a, it's about our life reflection. <coughs> In your specific case, I think uh, Alice's piece of advice is the best. 
you are you have to do some simple applications uh, using uh, uh, Slava's platform. I know this region very well because I have my my father's family comes from there. You use, uh, you use Instagram, you use uh, social networks, and you you start pressing it uh, positive thing yeah pressing this positive side yeah we have a beautiful rivers the atmosphere is very nice and if i'm not mistaken i think that there are still some offshore uh, opportunities for business in chechnya i think i'm not uh, very good but maybe you uh, can use this prospect you uh, you start uh, competing for uh, money for attention of the audience and the negative effect can be eliminated but you have to do it in a centralized way when I was visiting Dagestan uh, I was uh, communicating with a friend in Facebook yeah you you need to uh, you need to focus your attention from negative to positive that's what we were talking about and mobile channel as a single channel is not going to work it has to be a complex approach we have yet another question good evening my name is Igor the question is about uh, musical and audio visual content do you have uh, experience in uh, mobile apps cre creation in this area can you explain or briefly talk about who is the main uh, customer to uh, for developing such mo uh, such mobile apps and are they uh, happy about who are you uh, we are a pl platform that has uh, content first uh, uh, music publishers 20 um, to 20 on uh, 2009 it was the first experience we were for uh, moose.ru I had a service company my service company was uh, making Fidel and moose.ru and Sviaznoi Zagruska uh, these are serious uh, content suppliers back then when we were doing uh, working on them customers were happy I cannot speak about market trends in the market but I know that if everyone is switching to free, free uh, model back then they used to sell content and when there was uh, a gap between I iTunes and App Store in iTunes they didn't have music and App Store uh, music and uh, movies but, uh, now uh, most of the people who are ready to pay for, for them are the uh, OS users no one wants to risk let us have a private discussion not to uh, uh, take take the time I was basically wanted to ask are there any successful cases all the cases were successful back then when this model was working we did have it speaking about successful cases look at the video industry it's a parallel story it's a very interesting situation there I think you were also there we had a case when there was a fr fruit company uh, making a, ver a closed event for people and Russia's third priority after iTunes after um, Mexico and uh, Mexico and uh, the US music no it's there are two types of people who are in this people video and music in Russia and in the world but especially in Russia first type of people believe that there is an issue of piracy they are used uh, to uh, piracy and the second more progressive part of this industry they believe that there is no problem with piracy and it's a question uh, it's an open secret 12 percent of uh, uh, 12 percent only 12 
percent of uh, the day users are watching uh, pirate uh, pirates products in Vkontakte. You have an excellent example of play that's growing. It's X Yota play that created a user friendly service. And I, uh, it's coming from iTunes. People understand how to create a uh, user friendly interface, how to create good content, and have unsuccessful examples like Yandex Musica, which is not working. That's why you need to create cool projects that is comfortable to use. It's true for any application. If interface is bad, uh, video uh, is easy. It's EV. Uh, na nature images. It's for free and EV uh, not for f uh, uh, that you have to subscribe to. You have a number of titles you can uh, buy only one time and you can subscribe to things. Spotify, SoundCloud, they are almost free. They also have a monthly subscription. No, I'm talking about Google that I use in Google. You have monthly subscription and you get uh, all the new things for fixed 169 rubles. Wait, YouTube. Right, YouTube is YouTube. But YouTube started selling uh, best movies for 99. I was vouching for free to play for everything for free. A premium model is working, especially it's working uh, very well in music and video. I want to structure my thought. Mobile business, it being very personal, it's something you always use. It's exceptionally important that for the user experience to be good. If you came to a shop, you saw something you didn't like and you forget about it, but it's something that you use every time, you don't want to use something that makes you uncomfortable all the time. So if user experience is good, then business models start working. And it very often happens so that here user experience is something primary uh, and the rest is secondary. Sometimes business model has to come to the fore, but not here. As for music, it's definitely user experience being top. We have yet another question. Our audience is business, wants to uh, go mobile. And the question is, what are the criteria we have to, uh, accordance to which we have to select uh, a contractor, a developer? And when we should use light versions, when you sh when should we uh, order something? No, you don't uh, address agencies. Uh, you have to find a designated uh, developer. When you need a universal solution as Slavas have our uh, our development for a million dollars. It's up to you. Alexander has responded to this question. Well, I'll try to r respond very fast to things. First of all, you need to find not just any developer. You need to find a uh, developer with relevant experience. If you want to have a, a r an app for restaurants, you look for those people who have already worked uh, with the restaurants. Hotel, nightclub, same. You can uh, understand your expectations of the results from this person. Also, wait. Uh, if you want to develop your product integrationally, if you know that this year we need something simple and next year we need to add feedback form, something like that, then you can outsource it easily. And if you don't know how your project is going to develop or you cannot forecast, you need to uh, develop uh, things in-house. Well, there are also very good cases like Chocolatinsa, who has started uh, my app's uh, application, uh, and they, uh, but in a week they realize that uh, it's not what they want, and they have asked for a custom. They have requested customized development, but they have already started accumulating their audience. 
Many people start developing consulting area. Like Alice is a product person, we are product persons. Like there are top 10 mobile uh, developers. You can um, address uh, everyone. Prices are almost uh, the same. It depends on uh, their resources. Some people, uh, some agencies, some developers just don't have time. So you ask them, how much is uh, one hour of your consulting? Well, some of them understand. Well, consulting is more expensive than development because consulting uh, services are being provided by business analysts. Uh, the cost uh, of consulting is between 1,500 to 1,300 rubles. And you request 20 to 30 hours of consulting. Business analysts come over and study all your business processes. You can use it as a network. One business analyst managed to uh, uh, understand your business processes. You see that this person understood everything and you may proceed with the same one. And then you attract consulting people who develop your, for you your strategy to get to mobile. They tell you, you need to uh, get to this platform, to these very uh, op operational systems uh, with this and that functionalities. If you're a content application, you don't have active applications. If you're e-commerce, you don't have active uh, 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 operations. If you need them, it's billing, it's delivery. Uh, that have to be attached to your backend and auditing your backend is a separate thing and if, if you don't have backend it's ex exceptionally expensive there are open source backends they it can be they can be uh, customized you can get one of the uh, cms or basic uh, platform backends any mobile app uh, can fit into 100,000 US dollars, but you can reduce it to $10,000. You can buy uh, 10 hours of consulting from different companies. You can get some conclusion from that will help you understand how to move further on. And uh, there should be somebody who created a strategy for you, and it's, it's the next consulting stage. And you haven't yet started uh, developing, but now you have interface. You have paid for, and you have paid 100,000 uh, rubles. It's better than uh, paying uh, billion, uh, billions to uh, and, and risk it, whether it's going to work or not. No, don't do like this. Yes, Alice is right. We don't, you don't have universal consulters. Invite Vitaly for dinner and uh, and uh, he's going to consult you during dinner. Yeah, very good for me. Um, we don't have such consultants. Uh, you can ask uh, any consulting person uh, what has he or she done in his life. There's a really cool story that's called uh, Cacti and Roses. Find it in Google. Cacti and Roses. It's everything about consultants. First, you read this and then you decide whether you want to invite them or not. It's about big four companies. No, no, no. I'm talking about. I have been uh, working in Deloitte in big four. It's the worst part of my life and can talk for a week. Yeah. And you know, there are office uh, office lancers, uh, office lancers in the US, uh, office shooters. I would have been um, office throttler. Good. Uh, good, uh, good, serv good service developers. From them, you get good consulting hours because you make, you basically make them consult. But, f uh, but th they call them planning, uh, designing. But actually, you are. Some people call it technical requirements. Some people call it strategy. 
No, we are. To Alice is always right. We are talking. Uh, we were talking about different people. She was talking about professional consultants who are good for nothing. But there are uh, people who earn money, but and do their job properly, but they do not sell their hours as consulting hours. Many people are not interested in it. Sometimes they want to sell it together with their development. And if it's five five thousand per hour, it's only uh, it's not much for them. But if they add uh, developing there, uh, they earn more. They're just not interested. We do not have much time left. Three ideas that you would have uh, given to our audience as pieces of advice. Just one uh, advice per expert. What would you uh, advise uh, to earn money, to monetize, etc.? Write down on a paper why you need a mobile app. Then open App Store and look for something similar. And be surprised at getting 80 or 80,000 of similar apps. Uh, I have always great difficulty in answering this uh, such general questions. Just use Google. Just use Google. All the questions you came up with, they are not new. They have been answered to. Go visit uh, conferences, go visit Alexander's conferences uh, and Google. And you, you'll have Light Mobile in Krasnoy uh, Oktober. It'll be the third year. It's, it's the biggest. It's only about mobile apps. Of course, it uh, deviates strongly towards uh, consumer business, but we have B2B advertising. Yeah, attend uh, profile conferences. Uh, April, Apps for All, uh, it'll be the fifth year for this conference. Yeah. The, Digital October, yeah. Don't my piece of advice. Don't listen to uh, everyone, uh, anyone. Everything changes very fast. It's crazy, and all the experts, they they're good, and we are also good. But just don't listen to anyone. In such a uh, dynamic world, you need to uh, think of everything and to decide on your own. We have uh, lots of sources of information. We are not living in vacuum. You have to do everything uh, on your own. <laughs> Don't listen to anyone apart from the experts being present here. Well, being serious, I would have uh, advised to invest a lot in analytics without understanding properly uh, which effect gives a moving button from uh, top, top part of the screen to lower part of the screen. You you won't understand things. I'll talk about SMEs. I think, yeah, you should attend conferences and listen to that. But I have a universal r recipe. You need to be active and try things. There are cheap ways to test uh, whether mobile works for you, and then you keep on with analytics, attend conferences, drink a lot, and create big projects. To conclude, I'll try to explain mobile being multidimensional. I think a good uh, opportunity for business is free time that you get or your customers and users get. Everything leads to them getting the opportunity to speed up business processes or to speed up uh, interaction that you get in the form of email, a live queue, phone calls. You process everything uh, faster, cheaper, in a more efficient way. That's what I got from today. 70 or 80 percent of the market is mobile games. It's a locomotive, it's a driver. Whatever we do, people want to uh, get entertainment. Uh, design is very important for me. I think that we forgot about aesthetics that attracts or repulses us still. And again, I want to, to invite you to visit open uh, events 
in British Design School, we start a mobile design there that's going to start in September of this year. They, they, we are going to train basically art directors, it's people who are going to create nice pictures, prototypes, concepts, and then they'll be, and then they'll be uh, advice from our experts. And thank you for your time, and see you within new uh, events.